Today, our topic is Fungi in Diversity of Living World, Unit 1, Chapter 1 in Botany. Already we have discussed about viruses and bacteria. Now we are going to discuss about fungi. So, fungi is a Latin word, the fungus, the Latin word meaning mushrooms. So, the definition of fungi is ubiquitous, eukaryotic, achlorophyllous, heterotropic organism. Ubiquitous means it is present everywhere in the world. So, it can see in the air, it can see in the land, water and everywhere it is present. So, it is ubiquitous, eukaryotic, true nucleus, U means true, karyos means nucleus. So, it possesses true nucleus and well developed cell organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus etc. And A chlorophyllus, A means absence of chlorophyll that is A represent here is A chlorophyllus no in that A represent here is absent. So, absent of chlorophyll pigments. Due to the absence of chlorophyll pigments, it cannot able to prepare its own food. So, it has to depend on another organism for food. So, that is called heterotropic organism. So, hetero means different. So, it has to depend on different organism for food. And the fungi possesses unicellular or multicellular forms. Unicellular means single cell. Multicellular means many cells. So, the fungi has both unicellular and multicellular forms. Mycology. The study of fungi is called mycology. Milestones in mycology. 1729. P.A. Mitchell conducted spore, cellular, sorry, spore culture experiment. So, spore culture experiment was conducted by P.A. Mitchell. 1767, Fontana proved that fungi could cause disease in plants. So, the fungi also causes disease in plants was proved by Fontana. 1873, C.H. Blackley proved fungi could cause allergy in human beings. So, allergy in human beings like dandruff, athletic feet and even you have um, ringworms. Okay. So, they, they are the allergies caused by the fungi. 19, no, that is 1904, A.F. Blacksley, sir, reported heterothalassum in fungi. Heterothalassum means presence of both the strain, plus strain and minus strain, which is used in the reproduction. We will discuss it later class, in the future classes. 1952. Ponte Carvo and Roper reported parasexual cycle. Sir Alexander Fleming discovered that is the discovery of penicillium was given by Alexander Fleming. Okay, in the year 1928. This is a wonderful antibiotic. Okay, which is obtained from the penicillium notatum. The, the drug name is that is the antibiotic name is penicillin. And for this, he got the Nobel Prize and he had shared the Nobel Prize with Ernest Boris Chain, Sir Howard Walter Florey and E.G. Butler is the father of Indian mycology. You can remember his name, the Butler English. Uh, uh, most of them had uh, used this word. So, you keep that in mind and you can easily remember who is the Father of Indian mycology means E. J. Butler. And the general characteristic features of fungi. So, the cell that is the body of the fungi is called mycelium. So, you can see the body of the um, fungi is called mycelium. So, the mycelium has small structures which is called hyphae. It is made up of Hyphae and it is a thread like structure. Okay, it is a thread like structure which is called mycelium. And the cell wall of fungi is made up of chitin. And the chitin and the fungal cellulose. The chitin is made up of a polymer of 
N acetyl glucosamine. N acetyl glucosamine. So they may ask in one mark. Okay. N acetyl glucosamine. It is a polymer seen in the chitin. Okay. The, think it, uh, think it. That is the cell wall of fungi is made up of chitin. N acetyl glucosamine is a polymer. Plus fungal cellulose is also there in the cell wall of fungi. Now the types of mycelium. So you can see two types of mycelium. Septate and cenocytic. Septate. You can see the cross walls in the mycelium. So the cross walls is seen here. Okay. So the cross walls is seen here. If the hyphae contains cross wall. Cross wall. And per cell one nucleus is there. Then it is called septate mycelium. Example fusarium and here there is no cross wall and the nucleus is distributed freely. So that is called cenocytic mycelium or aseptate mycelium. Example albigo and the mycelium that is the mycelium when you took a cross section it contains loosely or compactly packed cells which is called as Plectenchyma, so which is called as plectenchyma. This plectenchyma is of two types that is prosenchyma and pseudo prosenchyma. So the prosenchyma hypha are loosely arranged, sorry, loosely arranged but parallel to one another. So this is you can see they are loosely arranged, they have the gap in between. And they are parallelly array, that is they are parallel to each other. So this one, parent, that is uh, prosenchyma, this one pro, prosenchyma, they are parallel to one another. So that type is called prosenchyma. Pseudo parenchyma, here the hyphae is compactly arranged. So due to the compactly means tightly arranged. Due to this, it loses its identity. So there is no shape. So you can see here, so how they are tightly arranged due to the tightness, due to the tightness, we can not say it is in what shape it is. So like this, here it is mm, arranged in parallel, no, we are saying no, like that we can't able to say in this picture that is pseudo parenchyma condition, we can't able to uh, say the shape because they are very tightly arranged. And based on the reproduction, there are two types. That is based on the mycelium which is going to involved. So holocarpic and eucarpic. Holocarpic means the entire mycelium will involved in reproduction. That is called holo. Holo means full. Full. Whole. Whole we are keeping. We are keeping no? That is the fully. So the whole micros, that is mycelium will involved in the reproduction. That is called holocarpic. Eucarpic means only some parts of the fungi or some parts of the mycelium involved in reproduction. Other parts of the mycelium remains vegetative. So there are two types, holocarpic and eucarpic. Holocarpic, the entire mycelium will involved in the involved in the reproduction. And eucarpic means only few parts of the mycelium involved in reproduction. Others remain vegetative. So the fungi reproduces both by asexual and sexual methods. Anamorph, asexual phase. So anamorph means only asexual phase will take place. There is no formation of gametes. So only asexual phase will take place. Telomorph, sexual phase. So only the sexual phase is seen and no asexual phase is seen in telomorph. And holomorph. Holomorph means the entire two phases that is anomorph and telomorph will take place in holomorph. The general sexual reproduction in fungi includes three steps. So generally the sexual reproduction in fungi takes place three steps. First one is fusion of two protoplasm that is plasmogamy. Protoplasm means it is a combination of nucleus and cytoplasm. 
so if two cells of the protoplasm fuses then that process is called plasmogamy after plasmogamy karyogamy karyogamy means what karyo means nucleus gamy means fusion so fusion of nuclei takes place after the fusion of nuclei takes place production of haploid spores starts how it starts through meiosis meiosis cell division so remember in sexual reproduction you have to remember about the three points plasmogamy karyogamy and the production of haploid spores this we will see in detail in the reproduction of fungi okay in the next class so next class thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel